Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to show you some Maya animation hotkeys that you may not know about because these are all custom made with mail scripts. So let me uh, show you what they are. Open up your hotkey editor. These are something that I learned recently about two years ago uh, by an ex coworker. Uh, these are so valuable and I'm so glad that I learned them and I want to share them to you and you should really put them to use yeah so when you have this hotkey editor open uh, if you're using tw 2018 you can go to the uh, custom scripts part right here and these are all custom made these are all um, what I copied from um, from the Jason from the animator and you just paste it in and assign it to a hotkey it's pretty simple and on the right side here, this is where you see all the, the, the scripts for each individual hotkey. So let me show you what they are. Um, yeah, let's start with this. Uh, tweening. Uh, tweening, I, I think you should know what tweening by now. You usually have a script for it, right? Um, but this, you put it on a hotkey. Um, I never thought that it was going to be useful to put tweening into a hotkey because I have the script and it's just right there. I just click on it. But it's surprisingly useful and it's surprisingly efficient. Um, so I I really recommend it. Uh, tweening this the tweening to previous tweening to next. So you just hit the button, it would move the value towards to the next key. Uh, yeah, that's what tweening is. Next one is the deleting keys on timeline. I'm surprised that um, Maya doesn't have this. Um, so how would you usually delete hotkeys? Is that uh, let me show you. Okay. It's my graphic right there. Yeah. Usually you would uh, highlight whatever you want and then right click and delete, right? That's like three steps right there. And we could be more efficient that way. So instead of doing that, you could just highlight everything and just hit that button. What for me was X. To hit X and you would just execute, which is delete. Uh, you can even just uh, do it on one key. So instead of highlighting, right clicking, you can just go to that key and just hit X and go to that key, hit X, go to that hit key, hit X. It's uh, so efficient. I use this a lot. And you should definitely use that. This, uh, next one is the Euler filter. Euler filter is, it, it fixes gimbal locks, right? So whenever you have rotations that go past 360 degrees and Maya gets really confused and it starts doing random crazy rotations and you hit, you hit your filter to fix the rotation right um, this depends on how you animate i think because for me i i have a very crazy snappy rotation flipping style i like to flip my characters and spin so i use your filter quite a lot surprisingly um, that's why i put it to a hotkey it's very useful the next one is the adding in between keys yeah, another thing that I'm surprised that Maya doesn't have, really. Um, so how would you usually add, like, let's say, between 5 and 6? You want to add some some space in between, right? You would usually highlight like, everything. Wow, I have so many keys here. Okay, 6. You usually highlight everything, select everything. My timeline is way too full. So And then you just drag it out, right? So now you have space in between. But instead of doing that, you can just go to, uh, I think it's here. Yeah. And you just hit, you can just assign it to a hotkey and you can just move things out like this. So you're technically adding in betweens. That's why they call it add in betweens, remove in betweens. Another, yep, very useful hotkey. The next one, I'll show you this one last because, uh, it's a big a big one uh, this is for changing views pretty straightforward uh, if you work in uh, in game animation third person game animation you want to change your views a lot right so putting them in a the hockey makes it quicker this is something new for me I don't use this very often so if I I just assign it to a hockey I can quickly change my views to side top perspective to front whatever I like the next one is copy and paste key. 
um, usually when you want to copy keys, you would right click, copy, and then paste, right? But this is assigned to Control C, just like how would everybody using PC copy and paste stuff, you know, Control C and Control V. So putting that, putting it to a hotkey, it just makes makes sense. So the next one, this is the last one. This is the biggie, curve offset. Now what this does is, so let's say um, I have this one cycle, right? And you get a note that says, hey, um, can you lean her back more? It's like, okay, no problem. I can do it quickly. So instead of like going into your graphic editor and just noodling everything to get that position, you can just select whatever control you want. And you're gonna hold down, for me, it's the letter T. So you're gonna hold down the letter T, rotate it back, and then let go of the T. And now we hit play. Now her relative space is, you know, is, is how you want it. This works for translation as well. Like if you wanna make her, her run, <laughs> run higher it just looks so goofy right now okay you have a note like i want her to be raised you know i want her to raise the raise her hips higher not so low to the ground so you can hold down the t and raise it up let go of the t and yeah there we go that's exactly what they want it's a weird tiptoey run so goofy long legs okay uh yeah, that's how that script works. That script was uh, pretty complicated and it was written by I'm gonna giving some uh, credit to people to Judd Simitov. Um I don't know him, but it was I learned all this from Jason. Jason Martinson. Uh, he's a really good animator. He's been in the industry for a very long time. He did a lot of animated movies. He does, has a lot of snappy styles like Hotel Transylvania uh, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs, really awesome stuff. And he he had, in his channel he has a lot of like these side by side views of like showing his reference and his animation, his his process. It's it's always really fun to watch like how people work. Um, you can really learn and see how they break it down. And yeah, so I'm gonna put all this on the link below. You can go check it out. Uh, same thing for the hotkeys. Like um, I have it all in the document. Any doc file, you can just all you have to do is just copy the the script and just paste it in. So let me show you how to do it. I think that's what you want to know, the good stuff. So in here, you have your runtime command uh, tab. So you're gonna hit new. It's gonna create a blank uh, template. And then here you can just name it whatever you like. Uh, whatever you like. Make sure there's like no space in between. So make sure it's, it's just one line. So there's no space. And then uh, those those scripts that you have, these scripts you just copy. Here's the thing. Um, let me see if we can do this. Nope, doesn't work. Okay. I'm gonna need a notepad. So this is the weird thing. You have to copy it and paste into a notepad. Then copy from there, and paste it in here, because uh, it's taking a very it's a default it's taking a default text and font, and then you could Maya can understand what you what you want. Yeah, I guess. And then after that, you just hit save one time command. You get this pop up that says good to go, and you get it down here on the list. And right here, you just name it. You can assign it to whatever hockey you want. Um, you can follow my my hotkey setup if you want to. Um, it really depends up to you. Uh, I would suggest that you uh, put all your hotkeys on the left side of your keyboard. I had, I talked about this in my my previous video about hotkey setup long time ago. I'm gonna put a link in the uh, description below if you haven't seen it. I uh, watch that one first, then set that up, then watch this one, and then set this up. So. Uh, yeah, you should always uh, assign your hotkeys to one side of the keyboard so your hands are not always distracted traveling the, traveling on the keyboard so you can focus on your animation and be more efficient because animation takes an incredibly long time and you all want to be efficient and stuff so yeah, I think that's it uh, let me see 
yeah, all these uh, just to summarize, all these hotkeys are very useful. I'm very grateful that uh, Jason taught me all this. Uh, he learned it from people as well. But uh, yeah, still uh, really useful. And I want to teach it to you guys because I could not find any of this hotkeys anywhere. Like. I don't. Yeah, I can. I couldn't really find any of these hotkeys because nobody really talk about mail scripts and creating your hotkeys uh, for animators, especially. I think a lot of people know about this, but they're pretty busy with you know with work because animation industry is just is just busy and crazy. So yeah, I want to share with you guys and you know uh, uh, start using these hotkeys. Are uh, very useful, and you could you know really focus on your work. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's all. That's all for this video. Okay, bye-bye.